Welcome everybody to another episode of Latifs Inspired. Today we're making a proper British Indian restaurant classic, the chicken tansak. I've been having loads of requests on my Instagram and my Facebook page, so I thought, you know what? Let's make a chicken tansak. Check this out. Lovely thick lentils, wedge of lemon, so you get that sort of sweet, spicy, sour flavor. Wonderful. Now watch till the, till the end for this amazing recipe. My mouth is watering. I can't wait to taste it. Beautiful. Right. All the amazing chefs. I've got 500 grams of chicken. I'm using chicken thigh. You know I enjoy chicken thigh. However, you can use chicken breast if you wish. All the spices are ready. Ginger and garlic. There you go. Now I've washed these lentils a few times and I've just soaked it in water for a good half an hour. Onions, tomato puree, everything ready. Let's start cooking. Bismillah. I'm going to use some butter ghee, one tablespoon, four tablespoons vegetable oil. Oil has heated up, so two cracked cardamom pods, one uh, bay leaf, which is the Bangladeshi test putter, and one cinnamon stick, which is the cassia bark. One medium sized onions, just cut diced up. One good uh, tablespoon and a half of garlic. This is fresh garlic made into a garlic paste in a pestle and mortar. One teaspoon of ginger. Salt to taste. Um, because it's going to be lentils, chicken, quite a lot of water, I'm using a good two teaspoons. You can use more or less. Cooking on a high heat. Whenever you start cooking, put the uh, kettle on, boil the water, and use boiling water when you're cooking. It makes it faster, which I'll show you. Right chefs, it's been a good four or five minutes. Can you see it there? It's all caramelized wonderfully in that fat. Now to soften everything up properly and mush it up. Just deglaze the pan with a boiling water that was one cup. Look at that. Wonderful aromatics. So as we're not gonna be using base gravy, we wanna mush up the onions as much as possible. Wonderful. So the boiling water has gone in, put a lid on, and we'll come back to it in a five minutes. Still on a high heat, people. Chefs, so since I've added the water, it's been a good four or five minutes. There you go. The oil has separated, the water has evaporated. Now I'm gonna add some asafoetida. About a good one teaspoon is perfectly fine. Uh, these are the spices, so two teaspoon of ground coriander, two teaspoon of the British, uh, just a general uh, curry powder mix, half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin, and this is Kashmiri chili powder, so two teaspoons and two teaspoons of general chili powder. I use the extra hot, and I always use the East End brand, guys. I personally recommend it. It's very good quality. It's based in Birmingham, and uh, the, the, the quality is amazing. So all the spice go in. Wonderful. That waft of the spices, it's amazing. So you just want it to hit that oil. You don't want it to burn. If you burn, it becomes bitter and spices stay in those packets for such a long time, it can become damp. There you go, it's all awake now. I believe it or not, this is tomato puree. This color um, is because I bought it from the supermarket. It wasn't as ripe, but I didn't have a choice. Wonderful. Right, in Indian restaurants, we normally have uh, the dance hack, which is sort of sweet and spicy and a bit sour. So this was sugar, so just one teaspoon of sugar. It's gonna, you'll be able to taste the spices. It just um, complements all the chili powder, that bit of sugar, amazing, wonderful. So I wanna boon the spices, this process so I'm just going to lower the gas and I want the oils to separate from the tomatoes. So I put a lid on, low gas, come back to it in about five to eight minutes. Right chefs, so the tomato's been cooking away. Yo, look at the colour. See it there? Beautiful. Lovely red from all that spices and that cashmere chilli. And now and the oil has separated people that's what i wanted 
This is 500 grams of chicken going in. Now crank up the heat. Now I want to booner the chicken. I want all that spice and everything to go in to pen penetrate the chicken. Close the lid, keep an eye on it. So we're going to do this process a good five minutes, five, 10 minutes, and then uh, we're going to go to the next process. Right chefs, the chicken's been in there for about a good three, four minutes. Let's have a look. Release a little bit of liquid. It's on a high heat. And now, so this is one cup of lentils. Just left it in water for a good uh, half an hour. Leave it soaking in there and whack this in. Right chefs, I just had a glitch with the camera. So basically, I put the lentils in, as you can see. Look at this, amazing. See it there? So that's all the lentils and the chicken. Put two wedges of lemon in. It's gonna build an amazing flavor because this, this is meant to be proper Indian restaurant style. It's nice and spicy. So I put two teaspoon of chili powder, two teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder. If you want it sort of really spicy, put about four teaspoons of chili powder. However, this is how I, I like this heat uh, when I'm doing it in the restaurant. So I thought I'll do it and do this recipe similar to that. So now the lentils have been cooking away. Uh, it's been in there, it's booned up together. Now we're gonna add some water. So I'm gonna add one, two, three. Because I've added one cup of lentils and I've soaked it in water and it's gonna need a good three cups of water for it to come into a nice thick sauce. Too much water is gonna be runny. However, this is gonna be nice and thick, trust me. Give it a nice little mix. Crank up the heat. Put a lid on. And this process should take about a good 15 minutes and we'll keep an eye on it. Right, all you amazing chefs, are you ready for this? Yo. Right chefs, now it's been cooking away for about good 10-15 minutes. I put it on a low gas, check this out, see it there? Lovely gravy, still got a bit of water on top but that's fine. There you go, now you can see those nice lentils. Lentils are re really, it's getting mushy, it needs a good another 5-10 minutes cooking and it'll be done. This is a one pot curry. Normally in the Indian restaurants, they boil uh, the lentils first and then they add it to the curry. However, this is no nonsense cooking, one pot dish, and this is gonna be gorgeous, I promise you. Kasuri methi, you can add about a teaspoon if you wish. So I'm adding good two pinches. Garam masala, good two pinches, wonderful. Just a few coriander, these were a bit frozen, that's why they are these color. Add in some chilies and put on a low gas and let this cook for a good five minutes or so and then we'll be back to check up on it. Right, all the Latifs inspired chefs out there. Now let's check this out. I always say when the curry is sort of custard consistency, but because this is lentils, it's gonna break away a bit more, it's gonna be even thick. See those little bubbles there? That's proper thick. Wonderful. Now the cooking time has been about a good 40 minutes. Now, let me show you. See it there? Lovely. Wonderful, yeah. Now turn the gas off. Right chefs, let's taste this. Now we've been cooking for a good 40, 50 minutes and it's come to an amazing dish. Here you go, wonderful. Nice, thick sauce. Let's taste this now. Thick sauce, everything come together wonderfully. Bismillah. Wow. Loads of chili in there. So you've got loads of spices. It's also got that little bit of sugar which gives it that sweetness. That sour from the lemon 
just brings out the spice. It's a very popular dish at Latif's Indian restaurant and you can have a similar, but this is a little bit different. It is very flavorful. Now, if you enjoy spicy dishes, you have to try this at home. If you like Madras, Pathia, this is a similar spice level, but it's got that lentil and from scratch, I mean, you can see it here. I mean, look at those lentils. It's not mushy in restaurants, they boil it up. So you've got all those lovely, those textures, wonderful. If you enjoy my recipes, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. This is quite spicy. See you soon for the next one.